All right, Shalom Akim. Um, welcome to our final lesson on how to change tenses. Uh, we went through the present tense and the past tense, and in this lesson, we're going to deal with the uh, future tense. And uh, I just want to make this one mention again. This uh, lesson is for the more advanced brothers that you know that's getting into the Hebrew. You know, so I mean, if it sounds a little complicated, you know, just watch it a few times. You know, take notes, you know, and um, you'll be able to get it. But, you know, if you just learn in the Hebrew, just, you know, stick to learning the alphabet, you know, learning, you know, certain basic words, you know, and eventually you'll get into this once you start reading the Torah. Because really, this will really come in handy when you're reading the Torah or, you know, some brothers that might like to, you know, write Hebrew sentences. This will come in handy, you know, to be able to help them, you know, with uh, writing, you know, these uh, sentences. And... Like I mentioned before, um, in you know, with these lessons here, you know, you have to make sure that when you when you're writing a sentence, first and foremost, you have to know, you know, if it's if you're speaking about a male or female, and second of all, you have to know whether you're speaking about singular or plural. You know, and that way, <coughs> you can reflect it on you know the actual, you know, your your actual sentence and how you're writing it. You know, because other than that, you know, you'll get confused. All right, but um, this here is a future tense, which the word, the way you say future is Aithayad. See it here, Aithayad. All right, that's how you say future. All right, so I, male plus female, which is I is in the singular person. Male plus female, you add a A. There you go, A, at the beginning of the word. All right, and I'll give you an example. It says, I will watch. Male plus female, Anya, A, Shamar. See, you will add the A there. That's the that's the letter there that you'll see that that will change this particular tense to future tense. Now, all right. So now keep in mind also that you know with this with these lessons, you know you're not gonna get it right away. You know, like if you're reading the Torah, you might see a, a word just because a word has an I at the beginning doesn't mean that it's future tense you have to find uh, like the word aparium the word aparium means is is uh, the way you say Ephraim in the Hebrew which the word ah is I or I am par is fruit and the yum at the end makes it plural I am fruitful so in that case you know that that's not dealing with a future tense you know a uh, uh, word you know you have to find you know you have to figure out by going back and forth in the English and you know and eventually you'll get it all right it, it takes practice so it says, I will watch, male plus female, Anya, Ashamar. Anya is I, and um, Ashamar will watch. I will watch. Alright, so you got the Shamar, which is watch, and Ashamar. Ashamar is how you will change it to make it future tense. Will watch. Alright, Ashamar will watch. Alright, going to the next one. The next one is you, male plus female. For the male, you add a tha, tha, at the beginning of the word. That's how you would distinguish, that's how you would make it future tense, and how you would distinguish that it's dealing with a male, okay? It says, you will watch. A tha, tha shamar. A tha is you, tha shamar will watch. You will watch. Once again, shamar is watch. Tha Shamar, Tha, Shamar will watch. And you brothers that that's out there that's that's getting into this, if you want, you know, you can also replace, either replace the the um, Paleo Hebrew or the ancient Hebrew or the Lashon Kodash, and you can put the, Assyri the the Syrian script on here, the Aramean. You know, you can put that here also. You know, because this is the ancient, so. You know, if you, if you learn the ancient, you would only really be able to read the ancient text of the Hebrew. So if your brothers want to learn the Syrian text, or the Aramean as they call it, you know, you would just substitute these letters for the, uh, um, for the Syrian script. Or you can put them both side by side if you want, you know, you know, it depends on you. Alright, so you will watch, Atha, Tha Shamar, Atha is you, Tha Shamar will watch, Shamar is watch, and Tha Shamar is Tha Shamar, as you see here, will watch. All right. Now the feminine way of doing it is you would add a tha at the beginning of the word and then add a ya at the end. 
says you will watch atha tha shamar ya atha tha shamar ya atha is you tha shamar ya will watch that's in the future tense all right so the way you say watch once again is shamar which is watch and the way you would make a future tense for a feminine or for a female is tha sha mar ya tha sha mar ya will watch all right the next one is he <clears throat> so he you will add a ya ya at the beginning of the word hawa a ya shamar hawa a is he ya shamar will watch all right he will watch shamar is watch ya shamar ya shamar is will watch this is the future tense of of uh saying it all right now she you add a tha at the beginning of the word you know so see with these letters and these letter combinations that you add to these words they will change the tense as well as change the the um the gender or the number of people that you're speaking about see those are key things that you have to remember you know in order to get you know to uh really understand the, these lessons here and to be able when you read it in the in the torah to be able to understand the torah all right so she you add a tha at the end of, at i'm sorry you add a tha at the beginning of the word she will watch hayya tha shamar hayya is she tha shamar will watch future tense all right shamar is watch tha shamar tha shamar will watch Pre um future tense all right the next one is we male plus female you add a na at the beginning of the of the word we will watch male plus female so it doesn't matter which you know which one you use this one for. Anach noa, na shemar. You see, so you see how it says, you add a na at the beginning. Anach noa is we. See, we. Here you go. Here goes the na. Anach noa, na shemar. All right. Anach noa is we. Na shemar is will watch. Future tense. Shemar is watch na shamar na shamar will watch future tense all right now the next one is you male plus female plural see so though you know th this is important you have to know how many people you're speaking about so for the male for you plural in the male form you will add a tha at the beginning of the word and a wa at the end for example you will watch male plural a thumb tha shamar wa a thumb tha shamar wa you see the tha at the beginning as it says here and you see the wa at the end a thumb tha shamar wa a thumb is you male plural tha shamar wa is will watch future tense once again, shamar is watch. Tha shamar wa. Tha shamar wa is will watch. Oh, this is supposed to be an L. Is will watch. Okay? And is will watch, but it's masculine plural. Alright? It's just as easy, it's just as simple as, as adding a, 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 a letter or a combination of letters to change the tense or to change the uh the number of people you're speaking about or to change the gender that you're speaking about all right now you female plural you will add a tha at the beginning of the word and a nah at the end of the word all right for instance uh before i go into it um a brother had asked me about about um in the last lesson oh actually the first lesson that that we did on uh, the present tense about um you know the word shamar matter of fact i just just make a quick point then i go back to that the word shamar right is watch is the way you say watch right 
Now, if you want to make it plural, I'm sorry, if you want to make it feminine, you would make it shamar, shamara, shamara, <coughs> because you add a high at the end. But it seems, if you look at it, it seems like it's just an I that you add at the end. And the reason why it looks that way is because you have four letters, sha, ma, ra, and a ha at the end, right? This is what the word shamar is, mark consists of. It consists of four letters. So if you write it out like that, it's sha, ma, ra, ha. But when you put it together, it's shamar. That's how you say it. But then when you add the ha at the end, <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me, let me go back. All right, the word shamar consists of three letters: sha, ma, and a ra. But when you connect them, it's shamar. So you would drop the 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 a at the a at the end off, right? Make it shamar. But now, if you add a ha at the end. What you do is you actually make it four letters, but this ma and the ra are separate from each other. So it would be instead of shamar, it would be sha ma ra. Because it's four letters, right? Sha, ma, ra, and ha. But then these two would connect. The ra and the ha would connect. Right? I'm sorry. The the ra and the ha would connect, so you would drop the the a at the end off. Shama ra. See how you got here? It would have been sha ma and a ra. Well, really, when you when you put it together, this last a here would be gone to connect the sham shamar. Same thing with the female. Sha ma ra ha. Right. You would connect the ra and the ha, and then this. A at the end would drop. That's why it looks like it looks like it's an I at the end. All right, I just want to make a quick mention of that because the brother had asked. So I hope hope that uh, answers the brother's question. All right, so going back up here to the feminine plural, you add a tha at the end at the beginning and na at the end. See, it's the same thing here. It looks like it's an I, but it's really a ha because the na and the ha are connected together. All right, that makes it feminine. All right. So you watched feminine plural is a thun, tha, shamar, na. A thun is you, feminine plural. Tha, shamar, na is will watch. All right, and this distinguishes that it's a fee of you speaking about a female, and this is future tense. Thamar, I'm sorry, tha, shamar, na. Shamar is watch. Tha, shamar, na. Tha, shamar, na is will watch. All right, they male plus female plural. The male plural you add a ya at the beginning and a wa at the end. They will watch male plural. This is the the future tense. Hum, ya, shamar, wa. You see, you add a ya right here at the beginning, right? <coughs> and you add a wa at the end. See, so it's hum, ya, shamar, wa. Hum is they, male plural. Ya shamar wa is will watch, future tense. Shamar is watch. Ya shamar wa. Ya shamar wa is will watch, future tense. Alright, now they watched female plural. Right, the, for the feminine plural, you add a tha at the beginning and a na at the end. For example, hun tha shamar na. All right, hun, tha, so you add a tha at the beginning, right, and a na at the end, right, That's ma that makes it feminine plural, and then what you get, what do you have here? You have the actual word shamar, which is watch, but you have the combination of letters here that make up the sentence, make it future tense, and let you know that it's, that it's plural, right, because of the hun. And also lets you know that it's speaking about a, fe a female because of the construction of the word. Alright. So, hun, tha, shamar, na. Hun is they, female, plural. Tha, shamar, na, will watch. Future tense. Shamar is watch. Tha, shamar, na. Tha, shamar, na, will watch. Future tense. 
all right so with that that concludes the lesson i uh, hope you brothers learned something um just you know go back and and you know go over it you know and um it's pretty much self-explanatory you know once you look at it for yourself maybe there's a another way that you brothers can um can look at it and you know and and you know and learn it you know uh, um easier uh, i'm just presenting it to you you know the way it's in the booklet and um that way you brothers can take it you know and and, and build from that and uh, you know you brothers out there you know f you know you can feel free to, to you know do uh hebrew uh lessons y yourself like the brother mount gun down in uh dc that brother does you know lessons you know from time to time when the hebrew and the brother gets down you know he he breaks some scriptures down you know beautifully you know and um he goes through the hebrew you know he goes through the you know he'll take like a like a verse you know i used to do that back in the days take like a verse and then break the whole verse down and you know teach the class that way you know which just is that's beautiful you know so you know you brothers that that the spirit is on to you know to go into it you could you know make little videos here and there you know to do um you know to go into the hebrew all right so with that you know i'm gonna say shalom and our lord's will to the next time